Montrealers are pretty avant-garde when it comes to their food. And today, I'm about to learn about the most ecological way to get food in the city, dumpster diving. I have never gone dumpster diving before, but it's a way for some people to supplement their diets and for other people to survive. Hi. Morel has been dumpster diving for four years. Oh my god. I'm helping her grab as much good stuff as we can before heading to a community kitchen to cook up a dumpster feast. Zora, can you tell me a bit what is dumpster diving? Pretty much just means salvaging the leftover food that grocery stores can no longer sell or choose to no longer sell. And so what are some of the most amazing things that you've ever found in a dumpster? Anything from wine to enormous rings of cheese, whole crates of avocados. If it's one day past its deadline, it's still good. What do I need to know to start? The overall focus is just on sharing, on sort of taking what you can commit to bringing home and making sure that it gets eaten. You're gonna have to help me out here. So okay, no problem. I'm gonna just hold that up. Okay. I think there's a pepper over there. This would be great for a stir fry. Here's a great head of lettuce in saran wrap. Yeah, it's packaged. This is great. Wow, this Look onion looks onion. pretty great. It is good, eh? And things like onions, I mean, they have a skin on it anyways. We didn't even get that dirty. No, usually we don't. I mean, people have this idea of diving I, in. I, with yeah, I thought it was like, oh my god, what am I gonna wear to go do this <laughs> shit today? <laughs> Dumpster diving is technically illegal. Not surprisingly, a lot of store owners are crazy about the idea of people getting food for free behind their shops, but some are cool with it. So this is a pretty good one. It's oh my god! Wow. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. Looks like we're having artichoke hearts for dinner tonight. Should I get in? Yeah, good job. <laughs> Step on something clean. These are still good. They're still cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, okay. The... I thought we would get in trouble. No, no. They don't want the food to go to waste either, you yeah. know? Look, that one's perfect. So why do you think they throw these out? They probably got a new shipment of fresh ones. You only have so much space on the shelf. It's crazy, though. Can not those shops, like, give it? In the future, that's definitely something to work towards. Uh -huh. It would be better if it didn't have to go to the dumpster first. Do you think we have enough? I think so. Morel is heading to a community kitchen to get cooking and has sent me on a solo mission to a well-known East End dumpster to get a few final ingredients. Ooh. This dumpster, for some reason, I find a bit more gross than the other one. Ugh. Ugh. My job is not that glamorous. Well, this is nice. And then we have these. That's it for me here. So dumpster diving with Morel this morning I felt was a lot of fun. But this, however, what I've come to realize is that dumpster diving I think is fun because of the community that's with it. Doing it alone, not my thing. So at least I have a few things. Now I'm gonna bring this back to Morel and we're gonna cook. And this is the fun part is that you get to share this with the community. Dumpster cooking show. I honestly never thought I would be wanting to eat food from the dumpster. <laughs> wow! But I can eat. Cut me loose. Oh my god! Wow. Dumpster diving with Morel has really been an eye-opening experience. Here's a great head of lettuce and saran wrap. First, she showed me some of the tricks okay. of the trade. Step on something clean. Before sending me off on my first solo dive. This is nice. Now I'm heading back to meet up with her and a group of volunteers at a local community kitchen. Okay. What'd you get? I didn't find as much stuff as the first dumpster, but I got some vegetables for the ratatouille you wanted to do. Nice. So how do you prepare food that you got from the dumpster? It's pretty much common sense. We just wash it really well. My concern with the dumpster diving is that, you know, I was wondering if it was sanitary. I've never gotten sick from eating dumpstered food, and I actually don't even know anyone that's ever gotten sick, whereas yeah. I know tons of people that have yeah. gotten sick from restaurant food. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of the dumpster diving dinner that Morel and her sister are preparing for tonight? It's a great way of making sure that edible food that people have worked on, grown, picked, transported to market is not wasted. It's economic as well as just 
avoiding landfill. What is the community kitchen? It's really a way of making healthy meals together, learning about new ways to cook for yourself and cooking with people. We're just gonna cut them and then we're going to stick these halves in olive oil with a piece of garlic in the middle and sprinkle some lemon juice and bake them. Awesome. This is the Dumpstered Cooking Show with Lorian and Tammy. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Hey, Tammy, you wanna see something? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. We got all this for free. Can't wait to eat. I honestly never thought I would be wanting to eat food from the dumpster. <laughs> Well, here are the artichokes that we got in the dumpster dive. And this is the watermelon. And finally, this is our main course. So this is our dumpster diving feast. You guys come taste some of this food we made. This is garlic aioli. Do not eat if you plan on making out with anyone tonight. <laughs> I made it, it's true. All right, so shall we taste this? Let's do it. Okay, my very first dumpster diving meal. So good. Good job, chef. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on your first dumpster dive. Bon appetit. Oh my God. <laughs>